A symbolic flag raising at the East Tennessee Veterans Memorial in downtown Knoxville kicks off a year of preparations for the Medal of Honor celebration next fall right here in Knoxville. Reporter Mary Klingler takes us to that ceremony. The city will host the annual gathering of the 67 living recipients of America's highest award for valor in combat. On hand for this ceremony, the oldest and only recipient alive from World War II, Woody Williams. I would not be privileged to wear this medal if it were not for others. Two of them sacrificed their lives protecting me that particular day. That 97-year-old veteran received the medal for putting himself in harm's way to protect other Marines on the island of Iwo Jima in 1945. The Medal of Honor changed my life because now I wear it in the honor of particularly those two Marines who gave their life for mine and for all the others who have made that sacrifice. President Harry Truman awarded Woody Williams the medal. 76 years later, and earlier this year, Williams welcomed his great-grandson into the Marine Corps. Knoxville last hosted the Medal of Honor recipients as a group seven years ago in 2014. In Knoxville, I'm Mary Klingler. Today, there are 67 living Medal of Honor recipients, and they will all be invited back to Knoxville again in September of next year.